Hi, my name is Emma Bowen. I'm in 12th grade at Stevenson High School. I made this watercolor painting in my Drawing and Painting 2 class, and it kind of symbolizes the fact that you might have this person in your life, whether it's a family member or a friend or a significant other, where even though the seasons may change, your love for them never will. And I think it's kind of a nice sentiment to have, even if you don't know it's entirely true. It's nice to believe that you and this other person can weather all of life's storms together. Hello, I am T. Huang. I am a junior at Stevenson High School, and I have multiple entries into the District Art Show, so I'm going to repeat the information only this time. I am T. Huang, Stevenson High School, 11th grade. And I'll be talking about my piece that I made digitally. It's digital art, when called When Flowers Bloom the Brightest. And it's about how, in Japanese culture, when someone dies, a classmate, you put a vase of flowers on their desk. And I thought that was just so interesting. So I took the really simple concept and I made it interesting using composition, perspective, lighting, colors. Hello, I am Chi Wang and I will be talking about my oil pastel piece, The Melting Pot. It's not digital, but I don't have it here with me right now. It depicts a girl wearing my country's traditional clothing and her eye is melting. Obviously, it relates to the title, The Melting Pot. She literally melting, but it also represents how your identity isn't what's on the outside. Whatever's on the outside, you can look like the perfect like Asian girl. You can look exactly from your country. But it doesn't mean that you feel that way. It's just about how in this country, if you're ethnic or you come from like a specific country you identify with, we are usually forced to lose our culture. But we fight back against it. And that's what it's about, my journey fighting back against the melting pot. Hello, I'm Ti Huang, and I'm here to talk about my digital piece, Myopia. It is about how when you're young, we're teenagers, we, just, we fail to see that our teenage years are such a small part of our lives, and that it's inconsequential when you look at our entire lives. Not that our issues aren't important, aren't not important, but we fail to see that all my issues are going to go away in like two years' time. So it's about that. We have an endless sky above us, and a boundless sea below us, but we're just so stuck in our mindset that we just can't understand that there's so much more to life than high school. So that's symbolized by the bus stop. It has like a lonely, sort of nostalgic feeling to it. And the size of the person like contrasts with the size of the background inside the scenery, emphasizing how small and how inconsequential it is. Hello again! It's Ti Wang, and I'm going to talk about one of my digital pieces called The Swan Maiden. I have it right here because it was printed, and there isn't like an exact meaning to it. The point of it was just how fun it was to make this. You can see right here, you can see all the different colors and the different textures. The image is flipped, I'm sorry. But it's just so fun, and it's not meant to be perfect. You can see like literally some of the colors are even inside the lines, and that's the point, that it's not super deep. It's just fun. And it's creative. It uses everything that really makes art art. Hi, T Huang. I'm so sorry we're almost done. But this is my next piece. These two together. And the story behind them is that quarantine happened. We were all really lonely. We were all suffering. With like this feeling of not being productive and always having to be work, work, work. But with this piece, it's just about that loneliness of quarantine, of being alone, of wanting to do these mundane things again. Like just going on a subway, the small things that you took for granted. Just going on a bus stop and like riding the bus. Stupid stuff like that. And you can see that the magazine here is from COVID news. It's just about that longing feeling of going back to the everyday, of stuff that you took for granted in the beginning. Hello, T. Huang here, junior, students in high school, and this is going to be my last video. Thank God, I'm so sorry for recording so much, but I'll be talking about my oil painting, Woman in Progress. I put a lot of emphasis on the texture and the colors, and it's a literal work in progress. It's about how we're all just trying to be happy, live our best lives, become a better person. 
you grow up thinking that things are black and white and like oh you did this to me you're a bad person and maybe they are but i think we all have stuff that we regret and stuff that we want to change and stuff that we want to take back we're all just working on that there's no such thing as just you're horrible no redemption it's always going to be that balance and i like that we can play this we're going to play this Hello, my name is Abijah Perry. I am in 12th grade at Adelaide East Stevenson High School. And I made this oil painting called In Prison Self in my AP 2D art class. It is about how like one's feeling can just boil up inside and everything that they're just keeping inside is their true self. But if you just keep it locked away, it'll just concave in on you in some way it's going to let out and you can't do anything about it. I wanted to show through my art that your experiences, anything that you do, they are you and it's who you are and you shouldn't hide it just because of what other people say or what other people do. You are your own person and that's the only thing that matters.